All right, before I continue, I'm going to save a contact to my phone. Um, all right. Okay. Three, 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 three. Okay. Okay, that'll do. And then I'll go to save to contacts. Right here on top. Then a uh, new contact. And I'm going to choose Windows Live. Then I'm just going to put the name as all A's. Uh, A. Right? See? The number is A's 33333. Three, three, three. Alright. Do you want to save it to Live Messenger? No, obviously not. This is just an example. Alright, so the contact is basically safe. Let me go into my um, contact list and you'll see it. Alright, the contact list number 3333 three, 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 three that I saved. Well, now, um, I'm going to delete my contacts now by logging off, by actually removing Windows Live from my phone. Um, let me re remove my Windows Live account. Alright, account options, switch Windows Live ID. With what this does, it link, uh, logs you off from Windows Live. Now the reason why I'm doing this is um, I was in a forum discussing about Xperia, like the different backup options, and I'm like, well, I choose to save my contacts to Windows Live basically because um, no matter which Windows mobile device that I have, as long as I log into my Windows Live account, all my contacts SIM contacts, phone co not SIM contacts, like my phone contacts as well as my uh, email contacts will all be imported into my phone, no matter which Windows mobile device I'm using. This is especially useful for example, okay, see I'm totally logged out, um, I'll go to contacts, and you will see that all my contacts are gone. Fine, agreed. Um, I'm going to log into Windows Live again, and I'll show you that it'll import my contact. Um, the reason why I was saying that I prefer to use um, Windows Live as my contact backup is because, uh, say for example, you do lose, put in my password, say for example, you do lose your phone, you will lose your SIM card, obviously, and, um, so basically all your contacts are gone. Now with Windows Live, what that comes with uh, Windows Mobile, as soon as you log in into your Windows Live account, it will automatically download everything that you had. And now you see store Windows Live contacts to your Windows Mobile phone contact list. So basically I have all my contacts on my Windows Live account and it will uh, download it to my phone contact list. It says merge contact uh, duplicate contacts basically like if on my phone I already saved a contact named Mary um, and on my Windows Live account I have the same person Mary on my contact list um, instead of having double Marys in your contact list it will merge it together so you have one you know one Mary there. So this is extremely useful, like I was saying, like if you lose your phone and you buy a new device, like a new Windows Mobile device, Touch Cruise, Touch Pro, Diamond, Xperia, whatever, and um, once you log in, remember, you know, you lost your phone, new SIM card. Once you log in, all your contacts and everything will be imported into your phone. Now, I was telling this, you know, on the forums, and this iPhone guy came in and was like, well, why go through all of that shit? And I'm like, well, you know, if everything is online, and chances are once you have a Windows mobile phone, there's a high possibility you're going to have a data plan with it because I don't see really, you know, the point of having a smartphone without any data plan. So I'm like, you know, well, instead of saving your contacts to your SIM card, save it to your live account. And once you save it to your live account, you know, whatever phone that you get, log into your live account and all your contacts will be imported in. Oh, my phone just... It's got screen turned off. Um, 
right now it's downloading all my contacts to my phone it'll take a couple seconds basically I have 231 contacts and uh, out of the 231 contacts I'm pretty sure one I'm sorry basically like a hundred and something are my actual phone contacts and out, out of the hundred and something phone contacts one of them is the one that I just made and I'll show you that you know I was able to back it up to the Windows Live and I was able to sync it back to my phone within a matter of minutes which I think is much better than using a SIM card so now we just wait um, it's not going to take long but um, like also say for example you don't have a Windows mobile phone that you decide to get you decide to get like a you know like a cheap go phone one of those shitty phones you are able to go to hotmail whatever hotmail live dot com whatever that you have that you use to get into your fo email address and go to contacts and all the contacts will be there so basically you could just sync it back there not sync it back but basically pull the contacts from um you know from hotmail dot com or whatever email provided that you use that's married to your live account it's almost done I'm just gonna tap the screen again so the screen won't automatically shut off almost done and mind you all of my contacts are being imported back now come on six alright synchronize complete so now done all my emails back on my phone as well as my contacts and I'll go here to show that all my contacts are back now and look the contact that I just saved you know the AAA thing with the 333 number is right here automatically imported back to my phone now I personally prefer to use this instead of SIM cards because you know if you lose your SIM card you see I'm totally logged out um, I'll go to contacts and you will see that all my contacts are gone fine agreed um, I'm going to log into Windows Live again and I'll show you that it'll import my contact. Um, the reason why I use the SIM card